And so again, these things that are happening to us, changes are happening, but you know what? We're Yesterday, of all things, we came here, we had a Bible study, and Sister Letty said, Letty, the uh, mother of uh, Sister Brother Mario, he said, we have uh, a trailer that we wanted to look at. Was that Airstream? Is that an Airstream trailer? And we went there and said, it's Airstream. And I know nothing about trailers, I just saw, you know, some piece of tin. <laughs> and I said, ah, you know, the first one we saw, nah, the second one, I'm like, nah. But you know what, some of the men here, they said, that's an airstream. A trailer like that costs $24,000 when it's brand new. It's the Rolls Royce of trailers. And then we started going in and all the controls were in there still in there. And they said, no, no, let's, let's take it, let's take it. We'll take it a project for church. And you know what, we need housing for our men. There are two men in this church that are now occupying one room. And I'm hoping that later on, that would be a habitable housing for them. Because if we get a trainer and they're cold, I don't like that. We have to take care of our people. These are workers of the church. These are not people that are indigent, you know, asking us to help them. That's not the case. These people are workers of the church. And their health has to be protected. And having said that, they decided we'll buy it, we'll refurbish it, we'll talk about the cost of the church later. And you know what, church? When you see it, you will step up. Okay, this afternoon, we'll take care of that. Everything is in the budget in any way. We are given time. And they told me, well, if the church doesn't want it, we'll sell it for two thousand dollars. We'll just sell it. So even then, I said, okay, let's go and do that. But things are moving, as you can see in the back. The rooms are being taken over, so that we can use them. We already have that big league room that's available. In fact, the parking practice there, the piano has already been moved there. There is a divider over the carpet, of course, that you can move. It is available for your use anytime. <coughs> we have that other room for your use. We can use it for, uh, and the locks will be changed and all, so that the functionality of that room can be used for married couples or whatever. But we are now, again, the reason we bought that later, we are in the process of reclaiming the second room. And now that we have all our rooms together, you know what? People still have kids in here that's out there, that might be a good ministry. We will see, we will talk about those people. While we're doing our uh, work there in Lucinda, uh, we're doing some work over here because uh, Pastor Noni told me, okay, let's have Pastor Hector to build up the church. Because actually, uh, the condition of the church is not like this before. Since you don't have anybody in you, can you uh, just look at the church? You see, like a, uh, maybe I can call myself the first custodian of this church under Pastor Hector. So when the devil starts to attack us and discourage us. Jesus. Jesus. We love you so though. Your name is miraculous, Jesus. Jesus. Your name is supernatural, Jesus. 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 Nowadays we have staff, we have videographers, we have photographers, we have uh, sound people, we have volunteers, we, we are a different organization.
ambulance. So then uh, after that, I just lay fly down and I heard an explosion. And then they run. It's a white dad's, dad's run. Yeah. Anyway, we don't want to, be, to get involved in that. Yeah. Because they might throw, you know, they might uh, do something to the church or anything. Unless it's in our property, so, but this is outside. I cannot sleep because I'm having a head pain and I'm coughing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's the reason I... For the insurance, huh? yeah, that's what they do, right? They burn the car so that you get the insurance. Car not eat, burn it. So perfect. I don't know what kind of car is this.
When morning gilds the skies My heart awaking cries May Jesus Christ be praised Alike at work and prayer To Jesus I repair May Jesus Christ be praised The night becomes as day When from the heart we say May Jesus Christ be praised The powers of darkness fear When this sweet chant they hear Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus, you are holy. Jesus, be
The LAPD wants everyone, especially families in the San Fernando Valley, to take a good look at this booking photo of Marcelo Alonso Lozano. Before he was arrested, accused of serial child sexual assault, police say Lozano was an usher at the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses in Sun Valley. They now worry for the many children he may have contacted there. He had been there for about six years, and this is where lead de uh, lead detectives would believe that there may be more possible victims, and this is where we need the public's help. Police allege Lozano preyed on children from 8 to 15 years old. The facilities manager of the church next door says they do employee background checks to help keep children safe. We're taking it very serious that we're looking at everything that we, we can do to make sure nothing like that happens with us. It shouldn't happen anywhere, to be honest. We tried to learn more about Lozano at the Sun Valley Kingdom Hall, but worshippers drove by without comment. Police are hopeful adults will talk to their children and let detectives know if the Lozano case hits home. Parents should know that uh, it's not the person, the creepy guy in the street that you should always look out for. Sometimes it's someone close to you or someone that's shaking your hand every day. Lozano pleaded not guilty earlier this month when he was arraigned on nine felony counts. His bail set at $1.8 million. The LAPD wants to hear from anyone with additional information. Reporting live in North Hollywood, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News. I would say a profitable year for the uh, for the church. We had in, uh, added a lot of improvements and a lot more improvements coming. There's I won't mention what we're going to be doing because it's subject to uh, this tra uh, change. But there will be a lot of improvements on the outside and the inside. Right now we're mainly working towards the outside. And with the help of Pastor Jesse and his and his brother and his crew, a lot of the improvements are being done. I am in the process of trying to get the other five church people involved. And to be honest, I would like to see uh, a much bigger improvement of our people. Most of the work is being done is being done by Pastor Jesse's group. And it's very difficult. I think we can do a lot more if we can get more involvement in the church. This is a, a very touchy subject with me because a lot of projects cannot be started because I don't have the manpower to do it. But
provided at the church but being done through the rental income. And we're, and I would say we're, we're well, fortunate with most of our, our pain and health. Uh, This is the entrance of the uh, this is residential building located at 12055 Wicks Street, Sun Valley, California. Okay, this is the main door and this is the uh, fellowship hall of the residential building. And this is the kitchen where they remove the uh, gas rains uh, lately. And uh, okay. This are the uh, resume. And, and the restroom has a shower. And the other side is the women restroom that has a shower also. Okay. And 
Here's another room. Okay. Uh, this room is a multifunctional room that is connected to the pastor, senior pastor room, and also this room is connected and has a door connected to the kitchen. So, and, and can be considered as a unit for a single dwelling. And here's another room in this property that is used uh, this is used as a children's room okay. and And it has its own okay, uh, restroom. And have another door going outside. And this can be considered as a single family dwelling room for a single and here's uh, the and here's another room uh, just a regular room that is used by the accounting department okay. and this is the door of the pastors the senior pastor uh, room office and here's another room that we used to use as our classroom in the Los Angeles ministerial Bible school is now under renovation okay and it has a door uh, going to the side uh, side of the church and this is also a big uh, room. The floor area is also big. Okay. And here it is another room that we use as a small chapel okay before okay. Uh, it's also considered uh, a good size room because this is used as a small chapel in which 50 people can be uh, can occupy this room okay. and another room a small room connected to the uh, to the nursery okay Okay, this uh, 
one is the nursery which has okay this is the main uh, hall or like a hall of the nursery and this nursery has three small rooms and this one uh, it's still dark okay and let's see okay this is used uh, like a uh, for exercises and this room is the video room uh, where I do my uh, videos on which I am the only official staff or personnel that use this room because all the equipments that I use in my videos are inside this room and this room is only a small room and this is the only room that they put a number one number and they just put it uh, the number one is like is an, in a band back paper printed and they uh, put it on the door that I use as a video room for my job okay and they put the number one number and that is the only room that has the number one number okay and this is a room that don't have even any built-in uh, closet this is a small room and here's another room okay that is used for storage all right and this is another one that is a library okay. Okay. so all the books are here so they call it the library and then there is another office a room used by another pastor as an office okay a small room also and this uh, door is a storage or storage and that door is leading outside the building okay